Hi everybody, my name is Ricardo Lambertini and I work for DMAR. And today we will go through our CPAP emergency mask, the Easy Vent. Our Easy Vent CPAP emergency mask has been designed for transport and emergency setting or for every time your patient needs a CPAP support, but you have at your disposal only a no 2 high pressure source. Before speaking about our Easy Vent, let's talk about CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure. The aim is to make the patient breathe on a higher pressure level in comparison with the atmospheric one. This pressure level, named PEEP, positive and expiratory pressure, has to remain stable during the whole breathing cycle. This pressure, applied to the patient's lungs, will increase the functional residual capacity, preventing the lung to deflating as usual. As a consequence, the patient muscle will work in a better portion of the compliance curve, decreasing the work of breathing of the patient. Moreover, keeping many more alveola open, we will increase the patient oxygenation and improve the gas exchange through the alveolar recruitment. The correct application of CPAP respiratory support is based on three interconnected parameters, pressure, flow, and FiO2. These three parameters have to be taken into due consideration and maintained under control during the whole treatment. Pressure has to be continuous by CPAP definition. It means that it has to remain stable during the whole breathing cycle of the patient. Flow has to be sufficient to fully compensate the instantaneous speed of the negative flow generated by the patient during the inspiratory phase. This to avoid the pressure from dropping and the alveolar from collapsing. We suggest a level of flow never below 60 liters per minute. Anyway, you can consider a flow as sufficient when the PEEP level remains stable. FiO2 is a parameter set by the caregivers and it has to be efficiently controlled and adjusted as much precisely as possible. Using a Venturi system, these three parameters are strictly linked together. An higher PEEP means an higher resistance, an higher resistance decreases the flow, decreasing the flow we might have an unstable PEEP and an higher FiO2. Back to real practice. Let's say that we have an O2 cylinder as O2 source. As you know, the maximum flow you can obtain from an O2 cylinder is 15 liters per minute or 30 liters per minute. But you know that you might need a much higher flow to keep the PEEP stable during the whole breathing cycle of the patient. That's the role of our Venturi system. Our Venturi system can generate an output flow of 120 liters per minute starting from only 15 liters per minute. Approximately, you can consider that our Venturi system is able to multiply the inlet flow by seven or eight times. On our easy vent, you can regulate the pressure adjusting the PEEP valve. You can also adjust the FiO2 level, referring to the chart available on our instruction for use and reported for your convenience on the Venturi body. Now let's talk about the equipments available in our setting. We have an O2 source, can be the centralized system or an oxygen cylinder. We have a double flow meter, full scale 15 liters per minute or 30 liters per minute. And we have our Easy Vent CPAP Venturi mask. Opening the Easy Vent, you will find inside the mask itself, the PIP valve, the manometer and the Venturi system already assembled together. Separately, you will see a silicone headgear. Moreover, you will see, starting from the Venturi system, two tubes ending with two connectors, A, blue color, and B, white color. As a first step, let's connect the A connector, the blue one, to the O2 source and open the flow meter at a minimum of six liters per minute. Remember that our Venturi system is able to multiply the flow by seven or eight times. As a second step, open the PEEP valve completely and apply the mask to the patient face, giving him some minutes to adapt. At this stage, you can fix the head gear, adjust the PEEP at the desired level and check the stability of the parameter on the manometer. In this condition, regardless of the PEEP 
you have chosen or the flow you have adjust, your patient is receiving an FiO2 approximately of 33%. In case you would like to enrich the gas mixture provided to the patient from 33% of FiO2 up to 100% of FiO2, you have to connect the second line, the B1, with the white connector to the other flow meter. At this stage, you have just to follow the chart you can see on the Venturi. To make an example, if you want to reach 50% of FiO2 concentration, you have to adjust the A line at 10 liters per minute and the B line at 14 liters per minute. The high efficiency of our Venturi will grant you a low O2 consumption. Concerning the leakages, in this setting, they are not the main issue. The main issue here is the stability of the pressure during the whole breathing cycle of the patient. So, until the manometer is stable, the leakages can be neglected. Thank you for watching this video. In case of further inquiry, we are at your complete disposal. You can apply to us through our email address info at dmarsrl.com.